Hey, welcome back to Hostess Coach. Today we are going to be making something delicious, Texas Toast Sloppy Joes. I mean, are you kidding me? For the kids in your family or the kid in you, or it would also be great for any kind of sporting event party you were having because you can make the topping ahead and then have your toast and everyone can help themselves. So it would be a great recipe for that, but we are going to get started here. I have my handy dandy cooktop, you guys can see. I have a little more than a pound of ground beef going in. And I'm going to get this started. Yeah, I just thought this recipe looked so great because really, who doesn't love Texas toast? I mean, come on. And then some sloppy joe on top. It can be a quick and easy weeknight meal. Or you can also, another recipe that you can make this topping the sloppy joe part in the morning when you're making breakfast and then boom all you have to do is warm it up in the evening toast your texas toast and you are ready for dinner so of course i love recipes like that because always seem to have a little more vim and vigor in the morning than by the end of the day and you don't feel like making dinner so this is a good one and then i also i love this one because for a party you could make your toast any size you wanted. You could do Texas toast. You could do any kind of toast. But Texas toast, you could cut them in half um, and do them as little appetizers. But then you could have your station set up with your toast toasted and your uh, sloppy joe in a crock pot. And then any toppings that you love on your chili kind of toppings. Cheese, jalapenos, sour cream, bacon bits, whatever, onion, whatever you like. So that could be... Um, a great station for a party. So that is one of the reasons I love this recipe. Plus it just looked delicious. So this is going to be a quick and easy one here. So our meat is getting going here. This cooktop gets very, very hot. So it is doing its thing. So our meat's getting browned up here. So I am going to I'll show you what's going on here. We got our meat going. So to that, I'm going to throw in, I have one diced onion here that I'm going to throw in and let that get going with our meat. Oh my gosh. Yum. So I am all for quick and easy meals. Now, if you want to make this really easy, you can buy the Texas toast when it's on sale, when in the freezer section, and you can buy a can of chili <laughs> or a can of sloppy joe, whichever way, and boom, dinner. So this just, I just thought was a great idea. There's a reason that the classic meals like sloppy joes are what they are because they're easy. I mean, I remember, I'm not sure when the last time I had a sloppy joe was, but um, remember in elementary school at the cafeteria, <laughs> They always had sloppy joes, I think once a week. But everybody loves them. Kids love them. Grown-ups love them. Everybody loves sloppy joes. Okay, this is getting going here. I'm going to add some spices to this. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of cumin. Now you add whatever spices you like, but this is what we like. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons here of chili powder. So one, two, and I'm going to add some, the seasoned black pepper here, maybe a teaspoon or so, because I love that seasoned pepper, and get these spices stirred in. This meat was very lean, so if you're using 80-20 um, or something, it might not be as lean. You might want to drain your meat. But frankly, for this recipe, your Texas toast is going to absorb it anyway, right? <laughs> Yum. Absorb all the yumminess. So I'm going to let that go for a minute. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Already smells delish. We got chili and cumin. Yummy. So to that, I'm going to start toasting our Texas toast I have here in the toaster. So let's get that started so we can build one of these delicious things. 
I just want to make sure these onions get cooked down. Because, I don't know, people like me, I don't like to bite into a big old chunk of onion that's not cooked. <laughs> so let me show you what's happening here. I'm getting going there. So they are getting done. Okay, let's see, this is getting nice and browned up. So now I'm gonna add a few more things here. I have a can of tomato sauce. Whoops, don't leave that in there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a little bit, uh, maybe a quarter cup of ketchup. And then I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of mustard. One, two, and I have uh, about three cloves of garlic I'm gonna add in here. They were kind of small, so I used three, but you know, I always say measure garlic with your heart. So get that going in. I add garlic at the end because you don't want your garlic to burn. It burns very quickly. So we got that going. And then I'm going to add about two diced jalapenos. Yummy. Now you can add green pepper, red pepper, even a yellow pepper if that's what you prefer. But I am using jalapenos because that's what I prefer. Oh my gosh. Yum. This is looking killer. So I'm going to let this go for a couple more minutes here show you what's going on in there. Our jalapeno, garlic. Oh my gosh, yum. Oh, there's our toast. Let's check on our toast. Oh, it's looking perfect. Nice and brown. Let me check the other side of it. Make sure we got it toasted on both sides here. Look at our Texas toast, yum. Oh, yep, beautifully toasted. That will be ready here in a second. So because I like beans, I'm gonna add a can of chili beans. These are ranch beans. I'm just gonna throw those in. You don't like beans, you don't want beans, you like kidney beans, whatever you like, throw them in. Pinto beans, whatever sounds good to you, throw them in there. But this just looks killer. And because we want it to stay on top of our toast, we don't want it to be too watery. And this is definitely not. Nice and thick. Yummy. Here, I'll show you our chili. So I'm going to let that go for just a couple of minutes to let those beans get warmed up. And then we are going to assemble one of these delicious things. So. Have a piece of Texas toast here on my plate. Stick that over here. And then I have this yumminess going on here. This induction cooktop is very, very hot, so it goes very quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yummy. Smells delicious. put those jalapenos in, you know, toward the end. So they have a nice bit of green in our, in our sloppy Joe. Okay, let's give this a try. Because I think this is gonna be killer. Okay, I'm gonna move it over a little bit. Star of the show here, Texas toast. Let's get some sloppy Joe going on there. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, you say delish. Now I have some pepper jack cheese and some regular sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna put a little pepper jack on there. I'm gonna put a little regular cheddar on there. Now you can put that back under the boiler if you wanted to. Um, again, you can top it with whatever your favorite toppings are, diced tomato, onion, 
whatever, but we are just going to take a bite. Turn that thing off and check out what this tastes like. Yummy. Quick and easy weeknight meal, party meal, kid's favorite meal, all good. So I'm going to get a bite of everything on my bite here. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Quick and easy and delicious. And come on, who doesn't love a sloppy joe? Thanks for watching. We always love to see you here. And stick with us for more great recipes, party ideas, party recipes, menus. And don't forget to sign up for the summer dinner party challenge below in the description. I have a whole dinner party there with checklists and um, the recipes and the videos for a delicious elote taco party. Perfect for Cinco de Mayo.